What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to Leap of Fate. I've been looking for something new to try out, so I've kind of been leafing through some games, and I decided to, to give this one a shot. I uh, picked it up a little while ago. The game itself released on PC back in 2016, but I believe it uh, semi-recently received a release on PlayStation 4 as well, so... Um, it's described as a roguelite game taking place in sort of a cyberpunk universe, but seems to employ certain mystical aspects, which is very reminiscent of the Shadowrun universe, which I freaking love. So, we're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes, and, um, yeah. Don't worry, by the way, I have not forgotten about Okami. We will come back to that remember. I've had issues with in a little, in shortly. My mom got committed to an institution when I was four. And my dad, who knows. So my grandparents took me in. The whole thing was a shock to them and they sought refuge in esotericism. They became bitter and distant. At 19, I got accepted at NYU in physics. So I left Montreal as fast as I could and never looked back. I loved sciences, but then I came upon this collection of arcane scriptures at the library. These texts went much deeper than those on my grandparents' bookshelf. I became obsessed, I came back day after day. That's when they made contact. The Cabal didn't need a silver tongue to convince. They just showed me. Magic. The stuff of legend. It was real. Soon after, I received my initiate's name, Eon. I was now part of an arcane society. A dream come true, right? Not quite. The Cabal's edicts are strict and dehumanizing. Ascension only occurs as magic replaces the mind. Or so they said. I, Gabriel Oxy, started fading away. After seven years of deprivation and absolute submission, it's a miracle I could still think. One fateful day, I found the last bit of resolve left in me, and I ran for my life. Wow. Okay, well that sucks. Alright, now that I escaped, I can focus on finding the Crucible of Fates somewhere ahead. Alright, so move with those. Okay, tutorial level. Got it. Point and then space bar. Ooh, fancy. Hold to attack. Oh, so it's basically like a shooter at the moment. Oop, careful. Okay, this could be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, shadow bolt, point, and then right trigger. Or right click, rather. Okay. So far, so good. Controls are nice and easy to understand. Sweet. All right, and then, nope, we're here apparently. Is this a level transition? End of the, tuto end of the tutorial. Whoa, okay. Who are you? You have come to this place to undergo the test, as many other ambitious mages before you. Here is a magical tarot deck that can read your soul and make you confront your own fears. Survive, and you could become the most powerful mage in this world. Good luck. Good luck. Um. Okay. Let's take a look. Click on this combat card to enter its magical challenge. Oh, that's kind of a cool transition. Special abilities can be used a number of times per combat. 
Uh, square equals one charge. Oh, I've got four charges over there. Okay. Eyeballs! Oop, careful. To teleport out of this card, hold the button for one second. Do I want to teleport out? I guess I completed the... Did I win? Yes, okay, so combat reward, combat cards have a variety of risk-reward ratios. So I can take a little one or a big one. I want the big one. Of course I want the big one. Stop doing that. Since I only get to use them four times, I don't want to use them all up. What'd I get? Whoa. Uh, I don't know what those are, but they're kind of cool. Okay, so unlock with a key to move further, or spend mana to upgrade your skills. Uh, I think I'll upgrade skills. So I've got attack, passive, and mobility. Looks like mobility's the only one I can access right now, so let's do that. Ah, that has a lot of skills. All right, what's this one do? Haunting Wind. Shadow walk through enemies to damage them. While this practice is frowned upon by most orders, mind invasion remains a disturbingly popular discipline. All right, cool. Challenge. I don't have a key yet, so I kind of just have to keep going, I guess. Hint, killing creatures with your shadow walk or glyph generates mana. Okay. Try to kill several creatures with each shadow... Oh, I'm sorry. Retry. I didn't understand I was supposed to use the shadow walk to do it. I mean, I, I know they told me... Oh, okay, so my mission is to collect mana. Killing creatures with Shadow Walk will, okay. All right, that makes sense. All right, so that got me a bunch right there. So just try and get a group of them together and then go. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Shop card, spend mana to acquire resources, okay. So, ah, there we are. All right, so I can buy a key for 10, and I need that. My health's already at full, so I don't need to worry about that, and my energy seems to be at full, so I don't think I need to worry about that. So I guess we'll call it good. Teleport. And now I can use the key to unlock the mystery. Atomic Flash, you equipped a glyph. Try your new glyph. Okay. Um. Wow! <laughs> Alright, Guardian. Mission 1, defeat the Guardian. Alright, so this seems fairly simple, but this is pretty cool. Face the Guardian. Ooh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, he's gonna die. We're fine, but holy hell. And full health. Awesome. Um, are there any chests or anything around here? No, not really. All right. I was wondering how much longer you'd stay on the run, Neil. You made the right choice coming to the Crucible of Fates. Okay, so choose a reward. After Shadow Walk, time slows down for enemies, but not for you. Each basic attack hit has a probability to stun. Each shot can be re-rolled once. Um, I kind of like the idea of the Shadow Walk slowing people down. So we'll take that one. Okay, so now that I've done that, I guess I move to this one. All right, let's take a look. 
Level 2 out of 6. The future is now. It is not clear who these labs belong to. Some say the government is a prime suspect, and there are stories about heavy investments from various rogue states and organizations. But it's clear to me that techno-magic research goes hand-in-hand -hand with secret societies. Francis Tan, independent reporter. Alright, so they shuffle up, and then we have the first one is combat. I guess I can draw more cards? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Careful now. I'll just go ahead and grab that. Thanks very much. And we can teleport out now. All right, we're good. That wasn't too bad. Um, I'm gonna stick with getting, you know, big goodies. Woo! Hi there. Watch yourself. They're big and not nice. All right, they actually managed to damage me a little bit. Get full health back. And then there's, oh jeez. Okay, there's two more. Ow! Fucker. Back off. You're easy enough to kill. I'm not concerned about you. Took a little bit of damage, but nothing too severe. Third one, okay. Take out these snaky assholes. Oh, God. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Woo! Hi, Ro. Okay, I've still got one more Shadow Walk left that I can use. My goodness, I get the feeling that maybe there's something over there I need to destroy? Or is there just a bunch of you? Ow! Alright, they're doing damage to me now. Holy crap. Alright, we got them all. <laughs> I might have bit off a little more than I could chew with that one. Alright, uh, what about gift? Ooh, health and a key. I like it. So we can go to the shop if we want. Or combat, or combat, or combat. Uh, I like the idea of the shop. Let's go there first. Guardian reveal. Compass, or health. Um, I want health for sure. I don't know what the compass does, so let's pick that one up. I'm not gonna worry about the guardian reveal. Deck of Fates has been, I missed what that said. Oh, so maybe that just reveals one of them? What does this do? Uh, each level find the hidden clockwork key and unlock a bonus card. All right, um, let's unlock a glyph card. Because I don't know that I really like this one. Infernal device. No idea what that does either, but we'll, I guess, find out. That other one was cool, but it just it took too long to charge it up. So let's do a simple combat. And maybe we'll get a chance to try it out. Alright, just kind of funnel them all together and work through them all. I really like shadow walking through all of them like that. Alright, can I grab that? Yes, I can. Health's back up. Sweet. And a little extra mana. Never hurt anybody. Sweet. Okay, uh, let's go to... Okay, I could upgrade, but I don't want to do that yet because I don't have that much mana to use. Reveal all special cards. Sure, why not? Alright, so that one needs a key. That one's for the Guardian. So the compass, I guess, just reveals pretty much all of them. Alright, let's do the combat one first. No, I don't like you big guys. You big guys are a problem for me. Alright, just get out of the way of them. Ow! Alright, well, he got me once, but that's okay. And now I get to go again. And fight them all over again. Watch out for him, watch out for them. 
keep the ghosts at a distance and we should be fine. Boom! I still haven't actually tried this infernal device thing yet either. I should maybe give that a shot. Just to see what it does. Alright, I think they're summoning. Alright, tried infernal device. I'm still not actually sure what it did. But they're all dead, so I feel happy about that. And that's... I'm not sure what that did. I don't know what those are. <laughs> I've got more than enough keys now, though. Alright, let's use the key on the mystery. And see what we got. Another key. And a bunch of mana. Alright, well, at least we got the mana out of it. So that's good. Uh, single combat sounds good to me. I'm just trying to do whatever I can to get as much mana as possible. Uh, and then I'll actually proceed to take on the Guardian after I upgrade my abilities. Ah, yeah, see, these dudes, there we go. They, they must be summoning those ghosts, so you want to take them out fast. All right. Uh, I guess we're good. Teleport. All right. Combat again. Just watch out. Take your time. Woo, careful. Take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down. Ow! I got hit by something. I don't know what. All right, go ahead and grab that. Maybe you should have kept it on hand for the second fight, but oh well. Too late now. Made my choice. Oh god, move out of the way. Don't stand there and let him own me. Ah, we're good. We got them all anyway. Had to use a shadow walk, but that was pretty much it. Okay, sweet. So I've got 211. Guardian is available. Um, let's go ahead and grab the upgrade here. And this time, passives. Okay, so it changes depending on the card you get. All right. What's my passive skill? Uh, Wheel of Fortune, each shot can be rerolled once. Do you see yourself as lucky in life? Okay, so that was the option it was giving me. All right, sure, why not? Is it telling me I can still do stuff here? Is that what it's... Yeah. So, this one up here... Is there a treasure chest I didn't open? Yep. Ah, with a key. That gave me another key. Well, okay. That's nice of them to do that, though. So, if you did miss something, you can go back and get it. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, now this one I think I've already done. Um, can I unlock more than one? No. Okay, so the one that I have is the only one that I get. That's fine. So I guess we're on to the Guardian. Whoa! Let's shadow walk through all them. All right, let's come up here and grab this health real fast. Just so that I'm at full health when it's time to do something. Oh, which would be now, because I didn't actually start the fight with the Guardian. Whoa, boy. Okay. Okay. Take it easy, everybody. Oh, God. Hi. 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 Oh my god, stop summoning ghosts. You're a douche. Oh god, okay. Oh, that's why I wasn't going very far. Ow. Alright. I don't actually know... Oh, that's what Infernal Device does. It drops a trap. As soon as he walks over, he takes a bunch of damage. Hi. Okay. So watch out for those. They're bad news. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the the lightning bolts are effectively 
There we go. Oh, shoot, I didn't get him. Go through him, there we go. The lightning bolts are effectively extra uses of your power. So if you burn through all four of your abilities, then you can use them, you know, like it says three and three. If you run out of charges for it, you can use those to continue using the ability anyway. This place strips people of their humanity and throws them away afterwards. Hmm, quite similar to the Cabal, come to think of it. Immunity extension. When you lose health in combat, stay invulnerable for longer. Alright. Alchemist's mark. Enemies damaged by haunting wind are marked. The mark generates mana on basic attack kills. Well, I don't think I have haunting wind yet. Third eye, you see through an extra row of face down cards in the deck of fate. The clockwork key and cursed cards are also revealed. I want that one. Oh, that's nice. So it gives me perm Oh, I do have that one. Never mind. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Wheel of Fortune, Time Walk, permanent upgrade. All right. Cool. Well, um, I kind of want to keep going. So I think I will, yeah. It's not taking too long to get through these, so we'll try and get through this last one. If we can complete three missions, and this is the third one, that's supposed to unlock another character, so it might be nice. Uh, the Cabal's goal is to ascend to a higher level of consciousness and be the progenitors of the fabled Sixth Root Race. That sounds fascinating until you realize this is driven by their contempt for humanity. How can you hope to grow when you don't accept who you are? Okay. Well, that makes that pretty obvious. Combat. It's like a two-tier combat. That's creepy. Woo! Okay. Yoip. There we go. Uh, the hanging corpses was a new one. Take him out. All right, these guys aren't too bad. You just have to dodge fireballs, but that's doable. Alright, so there's a key and some mana. Is that the only chest in the area, though? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll find out anyway. Yep, looks like that was the one. Ah, okay, so this is a challenge. Let's go for that one. To succeed, don't let the timer run down to zero. Okay. And what, you have to kill people to get time back? That's what it looks like. Jeez, okay. Well, I died. Is that it? It's too bad you played the <laughs> test and died. <laughs> now, instead, you'll be part of the Crucible of Fates forever. Time for me to start calling the next candidate. Ouch. Upgrade unlocked, Haunting Wind, one new reward unlocked, high score. Okay, so like a lot of roguelites, it looks like the more missions you complete and the more times you play it, the more bonuses you get out of it and the further you can get each time. So I'm not too put out by the fact that I lost that, because that was still pretty cool. Unlock by completing two more missions with Eon, five missions with Big Mo, seven missions with Mukai. All right. Well, there you go, guys. That's Leap of Fate. Let me know if you'd like to see more, um, and I'll be happy to do it. This is definitely one that I think I'll play more in my off time when I've got some off time to do that in. <laughs> At any rate, I like the setting. I like the game. Uh, I might try using a controller next time. It feels like this is more of a twin stick thing that might be easier than using the mouse, but I'm sure that's personal preference. Um, but at any rate... Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button. And by all means, please feel free to leave a comment in this section below. And as always, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.